Hey there, I'm Shy Fox, and I wanted to make a really quick video about a technical issue I was having with my Smooth Q3 stabilizer. Sometimes I make videos with this stabilizer, and uh, the company that owns this uh, product is Zian, and they were fantastic in helping me fix this problem. So, to first of all explain what my issue was. My issue had to do with when I was using it, my phone in place, it was doing these like jerk movements when I would like pan sort of sideways like this, holding pretty still, but then it would like jerk and adjust. And I had no idea why I was like, there's something wrong with it. It's malfunctioning. And I scoured the internet to try and find an answer to what was happening with it. I looked on Reddit, I looked at everything and I couldn't find anything. So I was like, you know what? I'll just reach out to customer service with uh, Zian and their gimbal products and see what they have to say. We are in follow mode and sometimes when I do a slow pan it has jerky movements. Did it very clearly just there and again just there. and again there. So they were really fast at replying and were able to help me and understood my issue. So, you know, after showing you what my issue was, like what it looked like, and, and I'm making this video in case anyone else has the same issue. And if your issue is different, then definitely reach out to customer service. They were very good. Um, but so what they had me do was I went to their website and first of all, downloaded the program. I'll show you. Now I can put a link to this in the description, but essentially we've just gone to the zeontech.com website and then from here we're downloading the software related to the Xeon calibration upgrade tool. So you really just want to go here, this button here, and then you're just going to download it for Windows or Mac. I'm on Windows, so I download it and I've already downloaded it and then you're going to open it. And when you open it, it's going to open zipped like this and just ignore that. And then you'll just have to open it from the zip folder. And then it's going to show up with this little box here. And then basically you just plug in your stabilizer and I'll do that to show you. Now I am going to use the cord that came with it just to be sure that I'm using the correct thing. So plug it in, plug it into my computer. And when I first did this, I was kind of derpy about it and was like, okay, it's plugged in and it's lighting up because it's charging, right? And I was like, why isn't it connecting to the computer? You actually have to turn the device on. So that was a mistake I made at first. So turn it on, it's on. And it should go into standby mode while plugged into the computer so let's see that it does that yeah so it kind of goes limp again and then from here we stare at our little program and next to 9600 we're just going to click oh sorry click settings then 9600 click open and we'll see if it connects link uh, failed okay so let's see i'm just going to try again link failed okay so i'll tell you something i did do is it's plugged into the front of my computer i'm going to switch it to the back of my computer 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 like i did last time okay so i'm just going to reopen the whole program just restart it and it's now plugged into the back of my computer sometimes it matters for usb devices to be plugged in straight into the back and not the front okay open link successful so this is what we wanted so i guess that matters and basically they just told me turn pan to zero. I've already done that. It was at five degrees before. And let me tell you exactly what they told me because I thought this was really helpful. So they said, you need to adjust the dead band value, which is this, uh, and adjust pan axis value to zero. And then they said, the smaller the value, the more sensitive the response. Okay, a slight turn will follow. So I actually tested it and it did fix it. So for me doing very slight movements, cause I've been doing some like real estate video and it's quite slow. So though I need a very sensitive um, setting. So zero is best. 
And then they said, you can also adjust the following rate and control rate. The larger the value, the more sensitive the response. So following rate here and control rate. So I suppose I didn't change those. I suppose if I feel like I need more sensitivity, I can come back and mess with some of those settings. This was like beyond me. This is my first stabilizer ever. And I was like, oh my God, I'm over my head. There's something wrong with it. But I did learn something. You can tweak the settings of your gimbal, your stabilizer from your computer. And anyway, that's all that there is to this. My stabilizer is working really good now, really smooth. And I hope that your skin works smoothly too. Even if you have a different stabilizer, um, reach out to Xeon. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, they were really helpful. Okay, I make art tutorials on my YouTube channel. Usually not this kind of video, but I do make the odd tech video because when I run into tech problems, especially if I couldn't find anything else on the internet about it, I feel like I am obligated to share my findings. So with that said, like and subscribe, especially if you're into art stuff, digital art stuff, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.